Coaches, welcome to year two of the Coaches Circle. For those of you that are with us for the first time, thanks for joining us. And for those of you that are back, we've got a ton of new things in store for you. This year on the journey with me, I've got my coaching staff. Micah Hayes, he covers off a lot of our guard development and our defensive stuff. Many of you have probably seen him. He's one of our PGC directors and he covers all of our strength and explosion stuff that you see around the country. Graham, one of our directors as well. And you've probably seen him out at summer sessions or at our coaches clinics. And Graham covers off all of our post development as well as our offensive stuff. We've got a bunch of new things in store for you this year. For instance, film breakdown, which you'll see over the next couple of weeks. What we're gonna show you is what we do how we do what we do, and more importantly, why we do what we do. We're also going to give you an inside look on some of the sound bites that we give our players. Here's an example. All right, um, really quickly, these huddles, we're, one of my commitments is to keep in huddles at the beginning and end of practice to 90 seconds. If it's longer than that, we're going to sit down and talk, all right? So that's one of my new commitments this year. So just a thought for the day, all right? Something I want you to be thinking about. Um, see the need, fill the need. All right, don't complain about what's not there. There's a teammate that needs picking up. Uh, there's a rotation that needs to be hit. There's a rebound that has to ha be had. Let's not complain about it. Like, see a need, fill the need. Don't just sit there and watch it. Find the need and make sure that we're filling that. It's like a mistake activity for achievement. We're going to make sure that we're getting good at stuff, and then practices will pick up later. And once, you know, slow equals what? Smooth. Smooth equals fast. So we got to be slow first. Then we got to get to smooth, then we got to get to fast. Got it? All right, here we go. We're going to dive into some practice clips where, we're, where the focus is going to be closeouts. Closeouts are crucial for any good team. I once talked to an NBA coach who said they did closeouts just about every day, and that's about the only thing they did every day. That's how important they were to a good defensive team. Now, we know we're not the only way to do it, and there's a lot of different ways to skin a cat, and there's a lot of different ways to win championships. But here's some key things that you can look for. First of all, we break it down into three main things. There's three words we want them to focus on. Now, there's other things they could focus on, but if we give them 10 things, are they going to get those right? So we try and break most of our practice down into three things that are most important. Here's an example. Getting good closeouts here. So we've talked about all the things that we want to do in the closeouts. As we're coming three quarters of the way there, then we're going to drop our butt. We're going to chop down. Now, it's really important these three steps be fast, hard, quick, all right? Then we're going to work on three different things when we get here, and I want to hear you articulate these three things. So we're going to try and break down the three most important things of everything that we do, all right? The three, so you know what your expectations are on everything. So the first thing that we're going to yell is shot, so that we know that we're taking away the shot, okay? All the way to the shot. The second thing we're going to yell is bounce. So when we get here, we're going to bounce and make sure we're ready to guard the dribble. And then the third thing we're going to say is hand, hand above the ball, okay? We're not letting them throw skip passes, not an easy shot. So it's going to be shot, we're going to touch, bounce right here, hand above the ball right here, okay? Those three things when we get to it. Call them out, articulate them every single time. Got it? All right, ready? All right, here we go, rotate. Hey, now, hey, now as you go through them, right, you're trying, every time, every time you have a closeout, you're trying to pick up your speed here. So not just your speed on your closeout, but you're trying to pick up the speed on shot, bounce, hand, like you're trying to get to those three things because the game, it happens what? Quick. Happens fast, right? Here we go. Now we're going to go a little bit deeper on what a win looks like with a closeout. So again, there may be a different way for you to do it, but we're going to talk about after we've taken away the shot, what's next? What does a win look like for our players? And we're going to dive into that right here. All right, that's, that's the shot that's going to beat us. So then when we bounce back here and give space and people jab and go, and then they shoot the ball, that's not the shot that's going to beat us. Are people going to hit a few of those over the course of the year? Yeah, eight of them. Eight of them over the course of 28 games. That's how many they're going to hit. That doesn't beat us. So taking away that first shot. So what beats us after we take away this shot right here is not bouncing back and keeping the dribble in front of us. So you've got to make sure. Shot, bounce. Like you're getting back right here. You're giving this gap. And I've got some space here, but I've still got a hand. This right here, shot right here. Even though I'm a yard away from him, he still feels the pressure, okay? You don't have to be here for him to feel the pressure if you're active with your hands and your voice. All right, here we go. In this final clip, we're going to show you the closeouts that we prefer. In the first set of clips, we've showed you what a closeout would look like when you're in a dire help situation. 
It's really important to vary your closeouts because there's various closeouts. One of the things you don't see here, but oftentimes we do, is we close out on a shooter, we close out on a non-shooter, and we close out on a complete player. Not every closeout is the same. So in the first set of clips, you saw them from the block up. That's a pretty long closeout. Those are the ones we don't hope to be in. These are going to be more one pass away closeouts, which is a lot more realistic and it happens a lot more in the course of the game. Or at least we hope it does, because if the other ones are hoping it happening a lot, then we're going to be in a tough situation where we're scrambling all the time. If we can stay in short, choppy closeouts, we're going to have a better chance to win on the defensive end. Hey, next group. Hey, listen. Keep giving yourself the reminders, even on this short close. Shot, hand, bounce. Shot, hand, bounce. Like, get, get, picking up the flow of that, so we know exactly what we should do every time. Next group. Here we go. Next group. Here we go. Here you go. Coaches. I hope you enjoyed week one of year two of the Coaches Circle. In the coming weeks, we're going to have even bigger surprises for you. And we're going to dive even deeper into our film breakdown. And not just film breakdown. We're going to be covering off strategy, X's and O's, talking about player development, and not just giving you the what, but the why behind the what as well. Yeah, coaches, we're just really thankful to journey through the year with you. And as you're getting ready for your first practice and uh, developing a, a season plan, I want you to just think about where to start and start with you this year. Start with how the best version of you is going to show up every day for practice. The year offers a lot of adversity and you know it's coming, so be prepared for it. Think about how you're going to show up every single day and make some commitments on the way that you're going to show up and hold yourself to those commitments. Share them with your team, share them with your assistant coaches, share them with your wife or husband or somebody that you're close to. But make sure you're committed to being the best version of you this year. Look forward to seeing you next week.